fresh air before a busy news day. And today's going to be very busy indeed. Isn't that right, little Alphonse? Hmm? You, oh, 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 Is anyone speaking grown up here? But I can walk. <laughs> oh, this is one cute baby. Brace yourselves. If there's one person who won't be dazzled by cuteness, it's Sally. <gasps> oh, isn't he a gorgeous <laughs> bundle of whiskers? Oh, I could just eat him up. Yes, 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 yes. Of course I won't. <laughs> I am on a macrobiotic diet. No. <laughs> This is weird. Is she being nice? <laughs> oh, that made me feel all warm and fuzzy. Good day to you, Geronimo, and, um, mm, you others whose names I can never remember. Toodles! <laughs> wow, she didn't even try to find out what stories we're working on. She didn't even call me a Swiss cheese head. What happened? Well, everyone loves babies, I suppose. Speaking of stories, one of mine is breaking today. I got a dash. Ah, uh, Tia, what about your friend's baby? Oh, my Gouda. I almost forgot. <laughs> okay, I think I held the baby long enough now. Can someone else take him? Uncle G? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, dear. Come here, little fella. You can stay with your Uncle Trap. <sighs> what am I going to do? I've got to get the story, but I can't take Alphonse with me. Well, I could look after him. Dairy scientists have created a new cheese that may cure the common cold. Man sneeze go, they're thinking of calling it. It's a great story. What am I going to do? Well, I could look after Alphonse. Geronimo? Sorry, Tia. I'd love to help, but I've got two big stories breaking today. Show them, Benjamin. A fossilized skeleton of a new species of dinosaur has been discovered. And a new two-mouse jetpack is about to be released. I have exclusive access to both stories. By the blue veins of Gorgonzola, it's going to be a busy news day. I can... Ben, have you ever babysat before? Hello? Are everyone's ears stuffed with cheese? I can take care of Alphonse. Really, Trap? Are you sure? Yes! The little guy and I will have a great time together. I'm not worried about fun. You have to keep him safe. Will you be careful? I'll be Captain Careful. And make sure he gets plenty of milk and rest and diaper changes. Hey, my middle name is Diaper Change. Please, he's cute, funny, and totally adorable. Please, Tia, please. Right. He does seem to like you. Yeah. Please keep an eye on Trap when you can. Of course. Hey, Tia, can I come with you? That new cheese sounds awesome. Sure. Trap, make sure you look after that baby like your life depends on it. Trap. Sorry, Trap, but I had to prepare that story, and you said you could handle it. I am handling it very badly. <laughs> All right, my exclusives can wait. <sighs> it appears I'm babysitting the babysitter. <laughs> Have a last look around and then head back to camp. I don't think we're going to find anything. A creature the size of Big Toes would be impossible to miss. He'd leave huge footprints as big as two feet long. I'd say two feet long exactly. He 
things are fresh. He must have gone through not that long ago. Wait! Wait! Maybe we should call for backup. Oh, for goodness sake! ancient tree. Kid Kios has been watching over my tribe since the dawn of time. Oh, I've heard about this tree. It's a unique species. It's sacred to your people. Yes, and it is in danger of being destroyed. <laughs> Some useless tree. I care about getting paid to build this road. Go on, get lost. You're wasting my time and my money. We're not budging an inch, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh no. Yeah, well, uh, you're just lucky I don't fight girls. No problem. My brother is a black belt, too. All right. Maybe I'm not a black belt. What I am is a journalist. I'm sorry we weren't properly introduced. Geronimo Stilton from the Rodents Gazette. Our readers will be quite interested to hear how you're trying to destroy this unique tree. Are you threatening me? No, just expressing my interest in a story. Watch your whiskers, Stilton. This is an old. We can forget about Big Toes for now. This is more important. Yeah, I have a feeling that the thing we followed in the woods led us here on purpose. Oh, it's a dead end! Ugh, we must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Let's retrace our steps. Pandora, might I borrow your camera for a moment? Sure. Do you want my selfie stick too? That won't be necessary. Hoofprints, we're back on the trail. They have just hit pay dirt. Wow. Now this is what I call a house. Who lives here? It's got to be a celebrity like the rapper Fresh Curds. Or maybe the soccer player, Cristiano Romano. Not quite, Pandora. It belongs to the eccentric billionaire and collector, Leroy Horde. Wait, did you say collector? Could Mr. Horde be a collector of illegally imported wild animals? Maybe we should pay him a visit and find out. Look, when we talk, you can feel a vibration right here. <laughs> Oh, 
Thanks, Gina. Yes? Oh, hello. My name is Geronimo Stilton. I'm a journalist, and I'd like to ask you a few questions about your collections. Oh, why didn't you say so? Come in, come in. Why, thank you. It's hard to say where to start. Everything is so amazing. I've got the golf shoes, all sorts of alarm clocks, old electric trains, or ballpoint pen caps. Banana stickers? Okay. I am impressed by your collections, each more unusual than the last. Really? I'm tempted to show you my favorite collection. No, I shouldn't. You wouldn't understand. Perhaps I should tell you that I myself am something of a collector. I've been told my cheese vault is among the best in the city. Ah, kindred spirit. In that case, please follow me to the garden. This guy gives me the creeps. Me too. But did you notice the pattern on his suit? Giraffe. My reporter's instinct tells me the next thing he reveals to us is going to be just what we're looking for. How are the speech lessons? Any luck? Not a peep. But don't worry, I still got a few tricks up my sleeve. I'm gonna try to make her laugh out loud. <laughs> well, I'll leave you to it. Hey, Gina, I gotta go pick up my dry cleaning. I'll be back in a little while, okay? <laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> gotcha, Gina! Huh? Where'd she go? <laughs> oh, oh, you think you're funny, huh? <laughs> you got me good! Hmm. And here it is, my greatest collection! Behold! What is that? Why, it's the world's largest ant farm with over a hundred thousand harvester ants and a full-time staff to see their every want, including a nanny, a cook, and a chauffeur. Hmm. Mr. Horde, have you had a giraffe on the premises recently? Why, Mr. Stelton, that's illegal. I would never do such a thing. I see. And how do you explain the condition of that tree? It's obvious those branches were stripped by a giraffe. Okay, it's true. A giraffe ate my tree last night. She showed up from out of nowhere. One of the ant farm workers is always leaving the gate open. But I never considered keeping her. I was only interested in her for her toenails. Her what? To add to my toenail clipping collection, of course. I went to get my clippers, but when I returned, I discovered she didn't have nails. She had hooves, like a horse. Then she sneezed on me and just strolled out the gate like she owned the place. Nasty giraffe. What to try next? What to try next? It shouldn't be too hard to get you laughing. Ah, especially with my comedy skills. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 